I remember one of our brothers who fell out with his wife. He said, I stormed out of the house and I made my way to the masjid. And he said, Subhanallah, the moment I came inside of the masjid, I found myself very uneasy. I was unsettled. I couldn't relax. I tried to recite Quran. It wasn't happening. I was engaging in dhikr. I wasn't enjoying it. Something was pushing me to go back home. He said, I picked up my bag and I went back home and I knocked on the door. My wife, she opened, she was smiling. She said, you're back. I said, yeah. She said, I knew you'd be back. He said, how come? She said, because the moment you left the house. I was apologizing to Allah. I was making istighfar saying astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, Allah forgive me. I knew he'd send you back. So my proposition for this principle is that before you go knocking on the door of the sheikh or the counselor or any website, you first assess your relationship with Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. Before speaking to anyone about your problem at first hurdle of a strain that is affecting your relationship, consider first that there may be something that has polluted your relationship with Allah Jalla Jalaluhu and that the solution is a lot nearer to you than you think and it is through tawbah through istighfar through making peace with Allah Jalla Jalaluhu Allah says wa an istaghfiru rabbakum ask your lord to forgive you thumma tubu ilayhi then turn to him in repentance what will be the outcome yumatti'kum mata'an hasanan ila ajalin musamma he will give you a good and true enjoyment until a specified term yani until you die this is the promise of Allah Jalla Jalal. And realize that the sins that you and I are accumulating, that is a debt that needs to be paid one way or another. You're putting it on the plastic and it will come back to haunt you one way or another and more often than not through relationships. What is the best way to deal with that? By asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to forgive.